I'm trying to picture. Hi, you guys. We are doing a one take from yeah. the Shaytards. Hello, welcome. Say hi. And we're doing a Halloween picture. We are doing some Halloween crafts. Grandma Larry, say hi. Poke your head in there. <laughs> she won't be in our video. She's being a bum. Yeah. Um, so tomorrow is Halloween, and yeah. we wanted to do something fun. Trick or treating. Yeah, yeah, trick or treating. And we, I have my own bag in my room. Just get down the concealer. Ah, you pervert. No, so I can't. We wanted to do something fun to get in the spirit of Halloween since we didn't. We did pumpkins at Shane Colette's, but we and didn't. Carve them. Carve them. So we're you gonna do. I'm gonna them. show you guys how to do some easy at home. Scary crafts you can do with your kids that are really, really inexpensive and easy to do. So these are things you can find around your house. Well, you might have to go, I don't know if you have white paint laying around. Most people don't. I had to call my mom at the school and say, Mom, get some white paint from the crafting department. So for the first project, you're going to need some white paint, just any craft paint that's washable and that's not going to hurt your child's skin or your skin. You can get at Walmart. That's a good lip. So white paint, a bowl to put it in. If you're doing this alone, make sure it's okay with your parents and you don't make a mess. Um, and then a little, as a cheerleader, I know this, you always want to mix some water with your paint. It will make it go a longer way. And you won't use as much paint, but not a ton, just a little bit. So we're filling this whole bowl with the white paint. And then we are going to put a tiny bit of water. Uh -oh. Run in the kitchen and grab a spoon from Grandma Lari. We're going to put some water into that paint, and we're just going to mix that around. Then you guys need some black paper. Um, if you, you can use grocery bags and color it black, or you can just go out and buy some, um, I don't even know this. What is this paper called, Mom? Black construction. Construction paper. So um, where? What? You might want to tell them why Cooper doesn't have any clothes on. Oh, Cooper, why don't you have clothes on? Yeah, my child is because naked. Because I got you got tell them why. Why did you? I'm stirring the paint. Why don't you have clothes on? Poop. Cause Grandma Laurie thought it'd be a great idea to get some chickens, and they've been running around the house and they pooped on Cooper. He was holding them and they pooped. So okay. So while I'm gonna let this paint kind of mix for a little bit and um, with the water. What are you guys doing for Halloween? Are you guys all dressing up? What are we doing? We're gonna go just classic trick or treating, right? No. What are you going to be? Cooper's going to be a ninja. No, a tiger. <laughs> Every day he changes. A ninja, a tiger, whatever. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do, you're, this is, can be messy, so be careful. This is going to be a fun project that you can frame for later, but you are going to need your child's right foot. Go get me a knife because I'm going to need to cut off your right foot. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, so jump up on the table, my little one. I am on the table. So I want you to sit on the table. Give me these, baby. Okay. So what you're going to do is carefully, carefully paint the bottom of your child's foot. And then we're going to place it on the paper and we're going to make some ghosts. So what I'm going to do is place this paper down as a safety. And then this top paper is going to be the paper we're using. So did you hear what mommy said? We're going to use your right foot. So give me this one. Okay, and all I'm going to use as a paintbrush is, paint brush, but is a cotton ball. So you use your safety Mom, paper. Mom. Oh, it's okay. I'll be careful. And you're going to dip it into your paint and just lightly, careful honey, coat the bottom of their feet. Make sure you get their toes. That's the cutest little foot I ever did see. That makes a really good paintbrush. Ow. So lightly coat it. Okay. Make sure there's nothing dripping. Then wipe your hands off. Oh no. I hear something. Okay. So then take your paper. Oh gosh, look what we have here. A chicken! <laughs> Do you want to make some Halloween ghosts with us, Mr. Chicken? Okay, so then you take your little tiny foot and you place it. Oh, I gotta move the paint. Move the chicken, please. <laughs> Stop, Mom. She thinks she's funny. Can the chicken make a foot? Okay, so then you put your little foot down on the paper. Go from heel to toe. So, Cooper, put your heel down. Now put your toes down and press. Okay, carefully. Now lift up your toes. Now lift up your foot. Okay, so this kind of, what do you guys think this looks like? Don't put your foot on the table. Uh, it could be a ghost. Say goodbye to the chicken. Buy a chicken. No, I'm old. I'm old. I'm old. She's crazy. I'm All my craziest one tape I've ever oh. done in my life. Get this chicken out of here. So then 
mommies, you need to paint your right foot E here, and you need to place it next to your ghost. So it's a big mommy ghost and a little baby ghost. So Cooper, come here. You need to paint my foot. Hurry. Can you help me? Good thing this paint is washable because Cooper just chased a chicken and there's white paint everywhere, you little turd. You little chicken turd. Okay, so mommy, watch out. I'm getting on the table, everybody. I need you to paint my foot white. Okay? Go. Here you go. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys the beginning to the end, so you have to see everything. Okay, the whole foot. Ooh, that tickles. Paint it, paint it. Good, now do my heel. Do you want me to help you? Mm -hmm. Whoa, I'm losing balance. Okay, the whole foot. Is it all painted? Get it good. The toes. And miss. Is there any dripping paint? No. Paint it, paint it good. I can't. Can you see it? No, there is none. There's none? Okay. Let's look and see. Okay, you guys, can you see that? Ah! <laughs> it's a white painted foot. Okay, I'm going to take my paper. I'm going to fall over and paint this whole house. And I'm going to put my foot next down on the paper next to the little ghost. And I'm going to lift it up. Yeah. Oh, man. So I didn't get the inside of my ghost, so I'm just going to kind of spot it and fill it in with my paint. Like that. Can you make fun of my ghost? Okay, so now we have a mommy and a baby ghost. I so have a baby ghost. So now we're going to paint some, you can get markers, you can get um, noodles, anything that's laying around your house, pennies, whatever you want to make them have some little ghost faces and arms, some licorice. Let's get some crowns. And some draw. crowns, you can draw on them with white crowns, and you can make them, it's a mommy ghost and a baby ghost, and they're going trick-or-treating. So that would be super cute and fun to frame, maybe to get our grand, grandparents or family or whoever. Okay, so the next, come here, Cooper, we have one more project, baby. He has ADD. So the next project, we're going to let that dry before we make their faces. We're going to do some ghost writing. This one can be messy, so you have to be careful. Okay, stand up here, buddy. I have to get on the table. You have to get on the table. Okay, so just, you, again, more. What's this paper called again, Mom? Construction paper. Construction paper. Okay, more black construction paper. We are going to, this is very messy. Kids, be careful. You are going to be using a bowl of Clorox. And... And some Q-tips. This is called ghost writing. So we're, what you're going to do, listen to mommy's instructions. We are going to draw a ghost or a witch. I want you to do a ghost because we're doing ghosts. Because we're going to hang the ghosts that we're drawing now next to our, foot, our feet ghosts. We're going to draw a big ghost with the, our paintbrush. This is our paintbrush. We're going to put it in here and draw on the black paper and see what happens. So I need you to sit right here next to mommy so you can see what you're doing. Oh, my God. Okay, here's your black paper. Here's your black paper. Here, do not drip this anywhere else. Okay, here's your paintbrush. Here, I'll put this down so you guys can see. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, and here's mommy. Okay, go ahead. We're going to dip our, make sure here's a napkin so it doesn't drip on the table, and draw a big ghost. Okay, what you think a ghost looks like. So you guys can kind of see it's showing up on the paper. It was, it's wet. Okay, draw a big ghost. Ooh, spooky. And your kids are going to think it's fun because they're going to be like, this isn't going to show up. But little do you know. Okay, is that your ghost? That's a pretty good ghost. As it dries, the Clorox is going to dye the paper. And it's going to really show up. I was going to say highlight. I guess you can't highlight a paper. Do ghosts have mouths? Yes. Like a big scary mouth? Is that a good ghost? No. What? It's this. Okay. So as that... Hey, Grandma Lari. What? Come here. I have a challenge for you. Okay, so... Oh, it's okay. It does look cool. Try again. If you messed up, that's okay. So as you guys can see, come here, Lari. This ghost is, the Clorox is going to change the black paper to a white color so you can see where you drew. It's kind of fun because at first you can't see what you're drawing. And then later it shows up, so we call it ghost drawing. So now another fun thing you can do with these to decorate them up a little bit is to get cotton balls and kind of, and glue. It's your next thing you're going to need. And you're just going to kind of 
pull these apart as thin as you can make them into small, small, small pieces like this. Sorry, Elmer's get out of the way. And we're just going to get glue and wipe it all over this ghost and then glue these pieces down. So it will be a big, fluffy, white, scary ghost. But remember, you don't want to fill in the eyes and the mouth. Oh, oh, that's such a good ghost. Can you guys see Cooper's? That is really spooky. Let Look at see. that. I can't really see. It's like a Monsters, Inc. ghost. Okay, so here's your glow stick. Did you hear the next step? You have to use these cotton balls and pull them apart. Okay, you guys, so you're going to have to check this out on my Instagram, the finished products of our feet ghosts. If you're late to the video, we made some feet ghosts. We're going to give them faces and hands and maybe you put a background in. And now we're going to finish off with gluing our cotton balls to our ghosts. We hope you guys like this little fun crafting video. Super easy and expensive for you to do on this Halloween. If you're running low on money because you've been spending money on costumes and candy, then that's why. Happy Halloween. Be safe. Sniff all your candy and don't take it from strangers. What is Grandma Laura going to do to us? I was trying to play Ghostbusters and the stupid CD player won't work. Oh, she's going to play Ghostbusters. So anyways, we love you. Happy Halloween. Go out and do something fun. Cooper is busy at work. And thanks for stopping by. Bye, you guys. Say happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Bye.